So the men's team standings coming into this 100 meters. Yodashi Makusho setting that collegiate record, meet record two years ago at the NCAA Championships. And Amir Webb, a big player for the Texas A&M Aggies, as Larry said in the open, they have scored zero points so far. And we're in day three of the competition. Dentarius Lock, what a story. 9.97 seconds, legal wind in his heat. And he's got Selman, uh, Charles Selman from TCU, a senior next to him, who ran 9.92 seconds with a windy condition. And then next to him, Isaiah Young, an Olympian at 200 meters. These guys have all run right at the 10 second barrier faster. When you do all the math, these three guys should be about equal in speed. Should be a very close finish. Well, we saw an exciting women's 100 meters. Now the guys know what they have to do to step up, as always, the talent in the middle of the track. Lock, Silman, and then Webb in lane two. Silman out well. As is Lock. Here comes Lock. It's going to be Dentarius Lock. No! What a late surge the last 10 meters. Charles Silman catches Dentarius Lock. to a wind of about eight miles an hour. Let's take a look at this. We talked about it being close. Boy, was it. These guys were amazing. When you look at their semifinal heats, it figured to be very close. How evenly, virtually. Trying to make that ground on the bottom of your screen in red with the Olympic champion, excuse me, Olympian Isaiah Young, but not to be. Beside him, it was Silman who had the best surge, not the 200 meter spe specialist in Young. So albeit wind aided, Charles Silman 9.89, then Tarius Locke in second at 9.91. Isaiah Young finishes third for Mississippi, and the winner is downstairs with Lewis. All right, thanks very much, Dwight. Well, Charles, take us through the last five meters. The start was great, but it was that dip at the tape. Uh, you know, uh, I just, I just kept my composure. I knew it was going to be a close race because everybody ran fast. When I ran fast, so you know, but I, can't, I knew it was going to come down to the wire, so I just kept my form and stayed strong. I came through with it. All right, tell me, a, a true sprinter's mentality. When you see 989, do you care about that W for win dated at the end of that? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm just happy I won. You know, my coach, I said I was going to run 9-8 today, but he said just finish it first, and the time will show. I guess that's what happened. And that's what you did. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Dwight. Well, in that slow-mo replay, it looks like Dentarius Locke might have started leaning too early, and that gave Silman the opening that he needs. Sensational men's 100 meters, and we're back with more.